Hey guys, it's Neon. I'm here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And uh, we're going to do another She-Ra video, uh, mile two in one week. Um, I think as we're oh, getting... I'm sure we're going to get more. Yeah, as we're getting closer to She-Ra season two on <laughs> Netflix. Season two, I'm doing air quotes. Um, yeah, Good. we'll talk about that. Now, we did not expect to do another She-Ra video this soon. We did one the other day, um, but there's been some big news. Uh, Larry Dottilio, co-creator of She-Ra, uh, one of Shira's two dads. One of Shira's two dads. That's relevant. Has passed away. He passed away uh, yesterday. Was it yesterday? A day or two ago. Um, terribly sad. We'll talk a little bit about Larry, but even more sad than the fact that Larry, uh, who loved Shira and 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 was a huge part in her storyline, and uh, you know if you watch um, the documentary on making of He Man, he was interviewed extensively. Even sadder than that is the the official dreamworks shira twitter and facebook pages couldn't be bothered couldn't be bothered but it's all about noelle stevenson they got lots about her up but they couldn't mention larry's passing at one of shira's two dads real two dads not the two dads are putting in the next season uh died and they didn't mention it at all and it's not in their facebook page either i checked no yeah we checked if you want to know exactly where the classic shira stands in the eyes of the people running the new show this is just another example of just kind of the the bullshit with you know. I, mean, I could have respected them if they at least said something. They're like, hey, anything. look, it's one of Shira's two dads. Yeah, and it's not like like you said, it's not like they didn't know this is actually on Sci-Fi and they could be Why, bothered right. and to they, mention yes. it on the Shira. It Twitter happened. It, ha it was it was all over the internet yesterday. Yeah. So there's um, no there's you know the, the, the fact they didn't mention it at all is just is just ridiculous. Yeah, JMS uh, who also got you know cut his teeth on on He Man. Uh, was a good friend of of Larry's. He was broke the other news. dad. He was the other dad. Uh, he he actually uh, broke the news on on Facebook. So um, Larry worked on a ton of animated series. He worked on He Man, of course, Rocket Wrestling, Centurions, Galaxy High School, Bionic Six, Captain Power, Real Ghostbusters, Swamp Thing, uh, Hypernauts, uh, Transformers, Beast Wars. Beast he Wars was, was actually pretty good. Beast Wars was very good. It was very good. Um, so this is this is interesting. This is coming from uh, JMS, who went on to do Babylon Five, uh, and he does comics now. Um, he said one of the things that Larry and I decided very early on was that Shira couldn't just be He-Man with boobs. The show had to go deeper than that, especially given that we were creating this for a female lead character. So they were very conscientious that that Shira was going to be a deeper show. It was going to have deeper meaning. Now everybody's like, oh, there's just a bunch of men making. No, actually, there were women heavily involved heavily involved well they designed the look of her they yes. might have written the character but women you know the, the problematic look that they all hate was designed by women the showrunner was a woman there's so many women um, worked on the next Shira. paragraph really irritates me though so this whole thing's about that and then they say this go ahead uh, i can't even detilio's legacy lives on in shira and the princess is a power series currently on netflix created created by noelle stevenson larry detilio co-creator of shira Noelle Stevenson did not fucking create She-Ra Sci-Fi Wire. I'm sorry, I am gonna swear. I am so damn fucking tired of this. She repurposed She-Ra. She did not create She-Ra. Sorry, she didn't create it. Yeah, this is just, again, this is indicative of the PR behind this show giving the finger to the people who worked on the original. Larry Dottilio co-created She-Ra, he's, he's gone. He's gone. Not only could they not be bothered to even give him uh, any acknowledgement on social media, right? But but they piss all over it by by saying Noel Stevenson created. Yeah, because Sci-Fi is owned by NBC, who also owns DreamWorks. So we oh we had so what their attitude was: we're gonna give him a shout out because he passed away, but we're gonna make sure we make it all about how he worked on Shira and how we can twist it to use it to promote our new show coming out on April 26th. They literally took his death. Wrote an article, so you're like, okay, that's nice. Wrote an article about him. Ended the article with a plug for the new Shira show, which has absolutely nothing to do with what he did. Yeah, um, she actually missed that in the in this video as well. Yeah, and and this is this is where it gets really aggravating. So this again, we have to give a, a shout out to uh, our Discord members. They they sent us a link to um, this video. There was another panel. Now this is this is really funny. Again, we talk about how with Shira, all the marketing about the Netflix Shira show is basically about Noelle Stevenson herself. Like just, this is the Shira panel. Is it other people who work on the show? No, 
Just her. Yeah, just her. Just her and the sci-fi wire chick who always seems to be the one that interviews her with softball questions. Um, this video has been up for 24 hours now. It only has 600 and some views on it. Our last she video has like 14 or 15,000. Right. Just to give you how much- We beat you know. them on their own panel when they did the thing at New York Comic Con. We I had know, I know. like a thousand, over a thousand people watching us. They had like, you know, a couple hundred watching them. They don't pan to the crowd. I don't know how big the crowd actually was. Uh, but this this whole, we watched parts of it. We skimmed through it. It's Noelle Stevenson talking about Noelle Stevenson and the genius of Noelle Stevenson and uh, basically doubling down on the fact that, yeah, you know, there was this old show. Actually, what's mostly about is about, they go on about representation the, almost the entire panel. Well, there's that too. Like, again, it's like, I mean, the original She-Ra, you know, had very diverse people working on it, but the show was about She-Ra being an action hero, a hero, Yeah, there wasn't a, a, there wasn't a romance story. Very little. I mean, she had a thing going on with Seahawk that wasn't It really wasn't explored. covered. It was more about family. Yeah. It was more about friendship. It was more about honor. It was more about how to be a good person, how to help others. That was the original show. That's what it was about. It was not about... Oh, golly gee, I wonder what a Dora and Catra's relationship's gonna be, and who's with who, and who's whose girlfriend, and who's whose boyfriend. It was never about that. They spend so she spends so much of the time talking about the costume. Well, these were audience questions, but I'm also no, like, that was at the end. I'm talking about what stuff led up to it. Yeah, she, you know, it was a lot about representation, a lot about how she writes, which I'm not gonna fault her on that one because you know, of course, when you're writing a character and you have other people working with you on characters, you're going to put some of yourself into those characters. That's just the way it's gonna happen, whether you're a voice actor and an animator. Uh, writer, um, you're going to do that. So I'm not going to fault her for that because that is honestly going to happen no matter who you are. Um, but it is a lot about that. And then they have questions at the end and they, it's, it's almost every question is about something about representation. Uh, but the one part was interesting though that she did, the one thing I was going to give her credit for was at the end she did say, uh, someone asked her about the 80s show and she said that um, it was groundbreaking for its time. But she's like, it's obviously a product, but it's very, it's, it's very much a product of its time. I'm like, it stands up today. I mean, it can be cheesy in places, yeah. I will admit, but it still stands up today. I don't think this version is going to stand up in 10 years. Right here, right here. Here, I'll, I'll bring this here. Um, oh, yeah, the names. Oh, yeah, this is also very interesting. Apparently, they don't have as much wiggle room as, you know, she wants you to believe. Uh, I think Mattel took a look at what they're... I, the personal opinion, I can't... I think Mattel took a look at what they're doing. They're like, oh, hell no. They're like, you're you're going to work within these parameters, and you're not getting He-Man. He-Man's not getting dragged into this. Pretty much, it just kept the names, changed everything else about it. Yeah. Um, she admitted in other articles she didn't even watch the show till later. Um, but they did say about um, that it, for the '80s, it was it was very groundbreaking. Yeah, here I'll play this part here. This is toward is the this end. All, I don't know if this is all. Yeah, the part this I'm is. Talking I, about. Yeah, okay. yeah, it's fine. Um, I watched the show with my uh, little sister, who's nine, and it's great to have a show that represents you know, so many different it. kinds of women <laughs> and men. That yeah, but she talks about the '80s show. show. Like, okay, men and women that's represented. Don't have to be this person. Guys in it and they didn't represent them very well. Whatever. They talk more about representation. Yeah, that's almost all representation. So many characters that. Um, but they talk about the 80s, who she can be and um, who she wants to be, and, and I think that is amazing. So, but my question is, question is um, and this is Emerald City too, feel, guys. Yeah. So keep in mind the type the of audience that's going to be there. Limited by the original limited series, by the like original the names series, or the like particular the names designs. Or designs. Well, when it comes to the names, yeah. <laughs> like, uh, yes, we have a sorceress named Castaspella, and it's just, that's normal. We're going to roll with it. <laughs> so amazing, though. That's so, like, yeah, I know. I mean, it's part of it. Yeah, we're playing it. Like, we're playing it. review purposes. That. Um, I mean, um, yeah. Well, she goes on to talk about... <laughs> um, she does. She explains, it like, but to, it's kind of... There are limits. There, we yeah. are creating a show that is... Uh, uh, following in the footsteps of a show it's that not came following out in the, the 80s footsteps. And this is nothing like the original. I think that for the Wait, time pause that it for came a second. Out. We're doing a show that's following in the footsteps of the original. But I cannot give credit to the original people who created it. And also earlier on the show too, she mentioned uh, about her being about she her being her daughter again and being like a parent. Uh, yeah. That's... Meanwhile, the real, the real creator yeah. one of the real creators of she-ra died died and there's like nothing mentioned no but i'm it's like i'm like her mom no you're not you are no. not she was older than you yeah she was allowed to be your mom and then some <laughs> uh we'll we'll put a link to this uh, we'll play the rest of her talking about the ease thing we'll put a link to uh the video if you want to watch the whole video you can do it but yeah she does she keeps repeat you know referring to she-ra as her daughter um but i think what actually is so disgusting about 
how the marketing PR is with this show is the actual co-creator of She-Ra dies and they can't even be bothered to give a tweet. Couldn't even reblog it from sci-fi. I mean, like, you know, you want to go somewhere, you want to go somewhere with, that's, you know, with fans acting like this. And if you go go to their Twitter again, if you go to their Twitter, it's literally go down. Constant, uh, Noel Stevenson, Noel Stevenson. Get on, it goes down Noel, by more. Noel, Noel, Noel Stevenson Noel. in an hour. Noel Stevenson Noel in an Stevenson, hour. Noel creator. Stevenson. Creator, Noel Stevenson, creator of Shira, Noel Stevenson, but Larry Dottilio, who actually legitimately created Shira, legitimately created Shira, dies, and you can't be bothered to give him. But then you get can't get this backhand. You know, day after he dies, another backhand slap at the '80s show. It was really groundbreaking. There weren't a lot of action shows that featured female casts like that. Um, but uh, but you know, it was still. A product of its time in some ways. Of so, its time. Yeah, uh, well, I, it's, it's a whole lot we, better than this show's going to. We try, yep. we try to, to take that legacy farther as far as we can. You're not taking um, it farther, you're ruining it, but whatever. A show that, is in the, um, that is following in the footsteps of that original she show. She's repeating the same thing. Property. It's like she has talking so points she's allowed to say. When you look know, at the look on her face. She does not look. Uh, happy we are limited by what we can I thought some people should give her some hardball questions, they didn't. Ultimately, I think it has also given us a really rich uh, property to explore and to play with and to flesh out. So flesh a lot of times out. I don't really feel. To flesh out because, you know, they didn't um, do it first on the show. that they you know, that we're making a I forgot reboot that, because it you know, feels we're like, you know, we're creating something that feels really honest and that feels really alive. Okay, wait, whoa, 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 pause it. I forget we're doing a reboot because now we're creating something that feels honest. Let's because don't you know the original one wasn't honest? No, this is you're no okay no you feel that way because you're creating a show that reflects your truth. Because as we know, as we've seen in everything, it's about her, 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 her. So of course, to her, it feels honest and true. It's her own truth. It's her own. It's a representation of herself. This is just so like, God. I just, I can't even. It feels really honest and that feels really alive and that these characters feel true to who they are uh, in our show. Because, you know, she so, had to make them true to who they were uh, because yes, yes, the people no, who actually there, created them were not. Okay, wait, is that the definition of fanfic? Yeah. The people who created the characters weren't true to who they really were. But we have taken it further and making them true to themselves. They are now, they're, it's now about romance and relationships that didn't exist and all these other things because we're making it true, true to those characters. True to myself. I mean the characters. I'm just, you know, I'm just like, Larry, yeah, I don't even want to watch any more of this. Larry, just, well, let me just finish this sentence here. Larry Dottilio dies. He died. He's gone. He co-created Shira. He was a huge influence on 80s animation. And uh, they can't acknowledge that. And and Noel Stevenson has to continue to, to piss on the show. And only that, they do a panel on Princess like, of Power, and it's only Noel Stevenson. You? Yeah. Also, I just, just a lot God. of opportunities to um, explore yeah, It's almost like she did everything show, single-handedly. So. Awesome. Thank you. So, so you know, I'm just, you know, we can pause now because this is, they're going, I mean, I'm, I'm I, done. I, I, I can't even, th this right here is everything that is wrong with this show. It's everything that's wrong with this show. Like there is no actual respect for the original other than, well, it was, it was a good blueprint, but we're going to just like, we're going to make these we're characters gonna make real. We're going to make them real and honest and we're true make them to themselves real. because we decided that they're, that they're this way now because that's, because that's our truth. <laughs> and you know, what about the, what about the 30 years of fans who might have a different truth? You know what I mean about who these characters are? Because it's been 30 years of established truth. Uh, it's only been changed now because you decided it wasn't it wasn't honest and real. This show is so current year that five years from now, it's going to be... That's what I'm saying. It's gonna... She was, still stands up. Yeah. It's a little cheesy in parts. I mean, we admit that. Yeah. But it, it, it still stands up. Th this is not going to stand up. No. Because, no. it, it, you know, for it, it's it's just, you know, it's not. And just look at, the, look at her face. That sums it up right there. Um... God, just so clueless. Just these people are so they're clueless. Like, they're celebrating themselves. They're celebrating for, themselves. For celebrate. They literally are repurposing something, uh, changing everything about it that made it what it is, then celebrating themselves and taking credit for everything. And listen, and even listen to her as the creator when she's not the creator of Sheer. She's the creator of whatever this 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 thing is that you slap the Sheer name on, but she is not the creator of Shira. They yes. could have just reblogged that article on this Twitter. And acknowledged that Larry Dottilio, a man, uh, co-created Shira. They go on about they go on about next season about the two. Da they asked her like the words to describe next season. And she's like, Dungeons, Dragons, Dads, hee 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 hee. Because everybody knows that Bo's gonna have two dads. Shira had two dads. She had two dads. She had two dads. Yep. See, look how progressive Shira was before you had to come along. Shira had two dads. Um, 
and you know, and she didn't, and, and no, but they, no, none of them exist. She had the people who, who developed her look were women. They were their moms. None of them matter. They're, it's, it's, it's her daughter now. And the people that created it, that you keep saying, well, oh, thank God they gave us this really rich world and I'm so glad to play in it. I'm so thankful for it. But I can't even acknowledge the fact that one of the creators passed away. One of the actual two dads of She-Ra died and you can't even, you can't, you guys can't even say, oh, we're sorry to hear this. Isn't that terrible? It's literally a case of, and I'm going to swear again, it's literally a case of what the fuck is wrong with you? Literally, what the fuck is wrong with you people? I don't know. I, I, I'm sorry for swearing. I, I know I shouldn't, but I'm so angry because it's like, what is wrong with you? I, I'm just like floored. I'm like, the more I think about it, the anger I get, like I just when I thought like my anger about the show had turned into indifference because I'm like, whatever, they're going to go do their own thing, whatever. So, I mean, it could have been that they didn't know about Larry during... The they panel. probably didn't know we were on the panel. Um, but you know, the fact that that you know the, the news was broke, uh, the news broke I yesterday. Found out yesterday. Yeah, I knew yesterday that he had passed away, and the fact that the official and they were tweeting yesterday. Sci-fi hasn't. I mean, they put the article up, but you know they haven't put anything on the Twitter. Hopefully, they fix that. Maybe after they watch this video, they'll fix that. Yeah, well, at the time of this video, they have not fixed but it. But just that that you know again this like really dismissive attitude. You know, really just want to point out though that just the people that work on the show are so in love with their own version of Shira that I think you know that beyond Larry's passing, just the dismissive attitude towards you know voice actors that worked on the show, um, you know just this this dismissive attitude, attitude towards fans, the dismissive attitude thirty to, to years of fans. fandom, but that doesn't yeah. matter because you, if you don't like this version, you're not a real fan. Yeah, um, I just want to get point out again, this is so uh, critically acclaimed and extremely popular. With 676 views. 676 views. Um, and then the comments, it was funny too. I noticed in the comments, um, people were talking about, uh, I mean, the, you mean she boy? Oh my God, this person said this. And of course that triggered. Now these people can say whatever and it's fine. This person makes this comment and then there's 20 replies and most of them are trying to tell them to shut up and they don't know what they're talking about because you're not allowed to not like it. Um, what, what, I love this one. Why do you broads act like you just invented the wheel? Well, that's a very darn good question i agree with um like of course that has replies so anything that has replies to it the people who, who who brought up the fact that it's crap but anyway i just think it's funny uh it's so beloved so many people love she-ra so people love the new version and there's you know yeah i'm just i mean i gotta tell you i'm just hoping that this now they did say about the uh the episode order there's time about season two is only gonna have seven episodes Start doing the math. Season one had, I believe, was it 13 or 14 episodes? Oh, yeah, 13. yeah. It was 13, I think. And then season two, oh, season two in quotes. Quotes. It's going to have seven. Netflix. It's yeah. going to have seven episodes. So basically, it's still season one. And then about will leave six or seven for season three, which would be... A 26-episode order, which is standard for one a... One season. One season of an animated series. So I, really, I think, I think what's going to happen is you're going to get quote unquote three seasons of Shira. It's gonna be a massive hit. Look, look, we lasted for three seasons. In reality, you're getting one 26 episode order of Shira, and um I'm kind of hoping just given the attitude behind the show that they just like it's over and done with and Yeah, we don't have to worry about it. Yeah, but then we'll have to wait another like fifteen years. Well, that's okay. There's <laughs> something else that'll fill the void. Thundercats Roar is coming and I'm sure we'll have lots oh, to talk about with God. that one. There is not I enough mean, alcohol for that. I don't care what how you know how much I'm mad Noelle Stevenson, uh I don't think she's anywhere near as bad as what they're doing to Thundercats Roar. No, no, that's that's a whole nother that will be a that will be a series. That will be a long, long series of videos and rants, I'm sure. No, I'm, so. I'm 100% guaranteeing it. <laughs> so, okay, are we done? Yeah, we're going to wrap this one up. Uh, Godspeed, uh, Larry Dottilio, our uh, Thank you for creating Shira. Yeah, and, and everything else you did. Our, our thoughts and prayers go out to his family and friends. Of course, uh, please subscribe to Clownfish TV for more pop culture news, views, rants, gaming videos, art videos, and more. This has been Neon and Geeky. Bye. Goodbye. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching Clownfish TV. Please consider supporting the channel. Go to clownfishsupport.com. That's clownfishsupport.com and if you want to join our community go to clownfishtalk.com that's clownfishtalk.com please subscribe ring the bell for notifications we will talk to you next time